Hello everyone, this is Puka, and welcome to another game I played on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online from Bad Deck Monday. And in this game we're going to be using um, what has turned into probably what I would say one of the fan favorites for Bad Deck Monday, and that's going to be a Vileplume deck. So this is a fairly unique deck. We take advantage of Vileplume's ability, which makes all weaknesses in play times four instead of the normal times two. And then we use... Well, one of pretty much every type of attacker, and we combine it with Silver Bangle, and then most attackers can then hit... Well, we're going to use most attackers that just hit for 20 damage, and then it'll be plus 30 for Silver Bangle against those Pokemon EXs, and that's times 4, so we can see a, a simple 20 damage attack turn into 200 damage very quickly when Vileplume comes into play. So we run one of everything, and then we need a couple super odds to shuffle those back in. Uh, looks like we are up against a Darkrai Hydreigon deck, and it looks like it's going to feature Dusknor as well. Uh, Dusknor, that does not look good for me. Uh, that is one of the most intimidating Pokemon you can face. Uh, that ability, Sinister Hand, can rearrange damage on all of your Pokemon, and it can just be absolutely brutal. So... I'm not looking forward to that, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm just going to start off uh, my first turn. I could have played some cards there, but I figured wherever I attach those cards doesn't really give me any benefit. And a Hypnotoxic Laser could be useful in the future, depending on what happens. I may need to try to poison him. I'm not sure what other techs he might play. So I'm going to hold on to that Hypnotoxic Laser as well. And I don't want to attach the Float Stone prematurely because he could play a Tool Scrapper. So I just use his Tropical Beach and draw two extra cards. Uh, I'm going to actually have a very strong turn two with two Rare Candy into two Vileplume. But beyond that, I am going to need the Tropical Beach again, probably. And my opponent says he's minus four catchers plus two zero two Dusknor. So he took out the Pokemon catcher and went with Dusknor instead. It's not bad. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I'm going to Rare Candy into Vileplume. And then Rare Candy into Vileplume. And now, I uh, mean, what do we do here? Again, I'm going to need to Tropical Beach. Do I attach any cards before I do it, though? Do I play any cards here? Uh, I want to hold on to the Energy because my main attacker against Darkrai is Stunfisk. Which... As Muddy Water, does 20. And with the Silver Bangle, uh, like I said before, it'll do 200 with the Silver Bangle against a Darkrai EX. So I want to keep that Blend Energy. But oh boy. That is a pretty bad looking hand there. Uh, but we'll see what my opponent does. He's got three Energy in play. Two on the Darkrai. One on the Duskull. And it looks like he is going for a Rare Candy. That's not going to be good. Rare Candy into the Hydragon. Now I can use Dark Trance to move energy around. And oh no. Rare Candy and Dusknor as well. His stage 2s are a little better than mine. <laughs> we'll just say that. Uh, so he's going to attach. And then use the Free Retreat from Darkrai's Dark Cloak. To just make things easier. Retreat the Darkrai that has a 2 energy. And then shift one of the energy up to the active. And I'm going to hit, get hit by a, what, turn three Night Spear. Uh, this is very intimidating because of that Dusknor. And because my hand is pretty darn awful. Let's just say that. Now, that Dusknor kind of limits me here. Uh, if that weren't in play, I, I could probably use Emolga to call for family for a Stunfisk. And then next turn, Silver Bagel. And then Muddy Water. Uh, but now that there's 120 damage in play, and Dusknor can rearrange that however he chooses, well, I can't really put Stunfisk down until the turn I need to use it. Otherwise, he'll just move 100 damage to Stunfisk and knock it out, and that threat is neutralized. So I need to be careful. I also don't want to bench that Cobalion EX because it's an EX, and that can very easily be knocked out with Dusknor. I don't, I don't want to give up two prizes like that. That would be kind of silly. 
and Cabalion EX isn't going to do anything against this deck. So I will promote Amolga and call for family. But, uh, yeah, I also can't Tropical Beach because I have too many cards in my hand. This is just a really bad hand all around. But I am going to call for family for the Rayquaza. Um, reason I'm doing this is there is times for weakness out there, and Hydreigon is weak to Dragon. So I do have that Pokemon Catcher. If I flip heads, I can bring out the Hydreigon and Dragon Pulse for the knockout, because I'll do 160 damage, and we'll take away my opponent's uh, Dark Trance ability, which may limit him in the future. So that's really the only plan I got right now. <laughs> um, it's not looking good, right? Uh, I have seven cards. Two of them are actually pretty darn good. That Blend and that Silver Bangle, I'm happy to have those. But beyond that, I don't have any way to search for cards. I don't have any way to draw extra cards. It's just, it's just bad uh, all around. It's just not looking good. Uh, my opponent is starting to spread damage out with Dusknord's Sinister Hand. Um, probably doesn't want me to use Reshram's Outrage. Uh, I decided not to use Outrage because um, my opponent plays Max Potion, I'm sure. All High Dragon decks play Max Potion, because you can just move the energy away, and then Max Potion, heal off all the damage, and then move the energy back, and then I would basically waste a turn. So I'm not even going to bother using Restram's Outrage if I cannot knock out a Pokemon in one hit. And I would have only been doing 110 damage. Uh, I considered going for a Catcher and Laser on the Dusknoor, but it would have been 10 short. Outrage would have done 110 the poison damage would have done 10 more, so it would not have been worth it, since he could just retreat for free anyway. Um, and, and now, I'm just, <laughs> uh, I need to top deck something very soon. Otherwise, I'm going to be in major trouble. So we do see Night Spear on Twee Molga, and will knock out my beautiful Full Art Molga. And, oh wow, uh, top deck a Heavy Ball. That's actually... One of the cards I wanted to draw. All right. Uh, that works out very well. So what we can do here is Heavy Ball for my Stunfisk. Since it does have a three retreat cost, it's a big old fella. And we can put that down, play a Blend Energy on it, and then attach the Silver Bangle. And check this out. Muddy Water for 200 damage. We're not going to do any to the bench because of Mr. Mime. But we just wipe that Dark Eye clean off the board. And I'll take that any day. Just a clean shot knocking out a Dark Eye for one energy. That's pretty sweet. Now, the problem we have... Well, we have many problems. But the biggest one is there's a lot of damage on my field. Which Dusknor can take advantage of at any point. So even though this looks good right now, I mean, I got to knock out a Dark Eye... He does power up another one right away, and uh, I am probably going to get knocked out. Well, I'm definitely going to get knocked out, and uh, I don't have an immediate response in my hand. That is a real bummer. He's going to Sinister Hand and move 10 up to the Stunfisk so that a Night Spear knocks out the Stunfisk. It has 100 HP, so he's going to move 10 damage there. And then the finishing 90 from Night Spear, and he can do 30 to a bench Pokemon. So you can see how much damage is on my board already. There's, um, well, he's moving it, so it's making it tough. There's 80, 100, 140 damage just sitting there. So I gotta assume at some point, he's just going to be able to take a two prize turn. Uh, it's unfortunate, but that's what's gonna happen. There's too much damage out there. And basically, I have to play as if I am down an extra prize than I actually am. Sounds weird, but. Uh, it makes sense if you think about it. Uh, I'm not just down one, or we're not tied. <laughs> I'm basically down a prize at this point. So this is going to be a downturn for me. I got end into not the worst hand, but not the best hand either. Um, I play the Skyla for the Super Rod so I can shuffle in Stunfisk and Emolga. We're going to evolve into Gloom, which actually will take um, a cheap prize away from my opponent. It's... 30 more damage than what he, what, he, uh, what he would have had to do before, since Oddish had 50. And I'm going to promote the Gloom, since uh, it only has 80 HP. 
it's gonna well it's a weird concept but uh, by putting up gloom it, it'll take damage off of my field think about it this way uh, if my opponent were to use night spear and attack Reshiram and then do 32 bench Pokemon that's 120 more damage on my field whereas with gloom uh, it gets straight knocked out so it's only really putting 30 damage on my field and then taking a prize. Uh, I think this outcome is much better, to be completely honest. Alright, so here we're going to have um, a Sinister Hand. Moving the 20 off of the Gloom to preserve the damage in field in, in play on my field, whatever. Um, and still, this is looking really bad. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be down another well i'm going to be down one prize and like i said we're going to assume that i'm down another prize just because of how much damage i have on my field there's no way for me to really go after that dusknor so at some point that is going to add up and sinister hand is just going to move all the damage to one pokemon and get a free prize um so things you know um they're not actually looking that bad because look at my hand this time I have an Ultra Ball and a Skyla and a Prism Energy, so I can get Stunfisk once again. Uh, but he's going to take a two prize turn here. That is pretty bad. Um, and we're going to Ultra Ball away the Combi and the Tropical Beach and take out Stunfisk once again. It's looking good. Grab him. Uh, again, we can Muddy Water. And this is how the deck can function sometimes. Skyla for that silver bangle. And once again, we can muddy water for 200. Uh, now, there's only 80 damage on my field, so there's no way for him to get a cheap prize this turn. And here we go. 200 damage, muddy water once again. And my opponent only has one energy in play, so he's going to need a dark patch, which he's played several of already. So we're actually in good position somehow. I don't know how that worked out. Uh, but just as I said, there's a Skyla for the Dark Patch. Going to put the Dark Patch. Uh, put the energy onto Darkrai, and there's the energy, and oh no. Darkrai is coming out. And let's see what we have. A Night Spear is coming. Stunfisk is going to go down. On the bright side, I don't lose this turn. So I'll have one more opportunity to do a third Muddy Water for 200 damage. Um, I'll have the, the Super Rod for the, the Stun Fisk, and then we can Ultra Ball grab the Stun Fisk, and then we all have a Juniper for seven cards, and an opportunity to draw my last Silver Bangle or a Dowsing Machine to win the game here. So this is it, and I even draw the Prism Energy, so let's go Super Rod, shuffle in the Stun Fisk, and then the two other Pokemon, sure, Combi, get back in there. And Rayquaza. I wish I didn't have to put in those other two Pokemon, but I do. Um, there's six benched Pokemon, so Colrus will get me the same amount as Juniper would. So it doesn't matter which supporter I discard here. We're going to go ahead and Ultra Ball for that Stunfisk one last time. And this is it right here, folks. Make or break turn here. Either I win right here or my opponent beats me. I need to draw Silver Bangle to win Otherwise, this game is just done. There's too much damage on board. So here we go. One Juniper for seven cards. And we missed. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, looks like we did not draw the Silver Bangle. And that means uh, we're not going to be able to knock out this Darkrai. There are no tricks we have left here. Didn't draw... Uh, any cards that can help me. So I'm going to Muddy Water for 80 is my last ditch effort. And uh, looks like we're going to lose this one. We were so close to winning even after um, kind of a poor start. Stunfisk almost carried us to victory, but that one last Silver Bangle eluded me. And there is one last Night Spear to knock out the Stunfisk. So uh, it was a really close fun game, but we ended up losing that one. Still fun. But you can't win them all. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that video. I'll have some more for you soon. I am Puka from the Top Cut. And I'll see you guys next time.